We're continuing into the next page, page eight. Anochi Hashem Elokecho. Before Rabbi Ashkenazi continues um, and tells us about the 12 good midas that relate to the 12 Shvatim, he also tells us the importance of the first Dibra. The first commandment in the Torah is Anochi Hashem Elokecho. And here he has a very, very strong question. Yeah, Anochi Hashem Elokecho. Bekan Sholim, when it comes to this part of the Torah, people ask, When Hashem introduces himself to Cloud Israel, why doesn't he say, I'm the one who created Shemaim Voritz, I'm the one who created the world? Shemaim Voritz, Shabriya Yesh Me'ain, the fact that Hashem created the world, something from nothing, Ex Nehilio, Uchidu Shoyser Godom Tzias Mitzrayim, it's more of a, it's more of a novelty. It's more of a wow than the fact that Hashem took us out of Mitzrayim. In other words, when Hakadosh Baruch Hu introduces us, introduces Himself to us, He should have said, "I am Hashem who created the world. I am the manager. I'm the CEO. I'm the, I'm the main thing here. Not just uh, an event, as important as it may be. Not just an event. What? Okay." <laughs> At time is there, why is it that Hashem introduced himself as one who took us out of Mitzrayim? The reason is, he answers, B'nei Yisrael could have said, Why is Hashem being so heavy on us? All Malchus Hashem is an all, it's a yoke, it's hard to do, to uh, perform mitzvahs. Why is it that we have to get up and dive in for an hour and a half and Tim McKenzie can lie in bed and drink his coffee and watch TV and we have to put on fill in and make sure this and make sure that and 613 mitzvahs, mitzvahs times thousand. What? Because Hashem created the world. Well, Tim McKenzie enjoys the world as much as we do. So why? Was his unfair business? We have the oil, we have this yoke. Lachen, therefore, is killed Tzies Mitzayim. That's what Hashem uh, reminded us and mentioned it Tzies Mitzayim. Loimar, telling us, look, I did not make, I did not create miracles, amazing miracles and wonders to any other nation like I did to you. In other words, we have a relationship. We have personal relationship that I have with you and not with anybody else. Therefore, that's why you, Minadin, it's the right thing, it's a correct thing. You should accept your, upon yourselves the yoke of my malchus, of my kingdom. Why? Because I am your melech, more than anybody else's. Yes, I have more demands because, yes, you have more rights. Because we have a relationship that others don't. The Shomanu Mepia Gvoa, that explains very nicely why the only two commandments, which we heard from HaKadosh Baruch himself, not through Moshe Rabbeinu, not through any emissary, was Shamanu Bipia Gvura, Anochi Velo Yelecho. We heard from the mouth of Hashem, from the mouth of the Gvura, of Hashem's might, Anochi, I am Hashem, you shouldn't have any foreign gods. Kedeshit is Chazek Emunah Sakel Belibeinu. So the Emunah of Hashem should be strong in our hearts. I was thinking when I was reading this of a bit of a, a deeper perspective over here that this is all about relationship. When you read the Torah and you read this week's parsha and last week's parsha, there are so many prohibitions, and you have to kill the Yerani Dachas, and you have to kill the Zok and Mamre, and you got to kill him and kill her, and don't do over the Zoro. And when you read the Chumash, this feeling of, you know, heaviness can creep into your heart. Look at 2021. Even the Fru world, Judaism is a feel good religion. All the emails you get from inspirational, the inspirational emails are all about Hashem loves you and you love Hashem, love, love, love. And all the Froom songs are all about love and Emuna, the Hashem is your tati. And even if the biggest sinner, he always loves you. And then you open the Chumash and it's not a feel good thing. You open the Chumash and it's all harsh. So how do you, how do you manage that? Why? I'll tell you why. If you heard Anochi, since we heard Anochi, in their own ears, in our own hearts, to not to anybody else, that means that we have a personal relationship with Hashem. And when we have a personal relationship with Hashem, which is a loving relationship, then all these prohibitions sound to us like sweet, beautiful words. I'll give you a marshal. Let's say a father, yeah, any type of father, Israeli father, sends off his son to India, because many Israelis like to travel to India, I don't know about Corona times, and India is not such a safe place, some certain things are dirty or unsafe, I hope our, uh, I hope our uh, viewers in India are not insulted, so. 
And uh, the father tells him, let's say they have a good relationship. They have a really good relationship. And the father takes the son to the side and said, you know, when I was young, I also went to India. And I'm telling you, son, I'm giving you some uh, introduction and guidance before you travel. And I'm telling you, don't drink this water. And don't walk down that street. And don't do this, don't do that. And the son is all excited and happy. And he says, thank you, Abba. Thank you for telling me not to do this and not to do that. I see you care about me because I love each other. But if the son doesn't love his father, so every prohibition the father tells him, the son, like a good teenage, goes like, the teenage like, oh, hello, like, 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 stop this, you know, digging into my soul and so oh, stop nagging me. I'll just go there and fly the first flight to Mumbai and I'll manage and he won't manage. Why? Because he doesn't love the father. So he sees any, any uh, request of, from the father's side is just a burden. If he loves the father, any prohibition is another trophy. Well, thank you for telling me. If we love a Kaddish Baruch because of Anoichi Hashem Elokecho, then Mimela, all the other prohibitions are givaldic. I'm not a Zokin Mamre, and I'm not your Nidachas, and I don't want to sin. And you know something, if, if Hashem punishes me, Khalil also, I'll, be, I'll take that also, you know, with joy, Khalila. But if it happens, yeah, then we know it's all, it's all coming out of love. It's all about the perspective. That's why Anoichi Hashem Elokecho was the first Dibra, and the Dibra that we had to listen personally to because it's a relationship. You can't have a relationship through a third person. The Dabli and then he continues. Now we see what he says it in his own words. You should know, no doubt. Whoever strengthens and inspires himself internally to accept upon himself the concept of He'll be, it will be sweet for him. He will be a rev, he will be beautiful and sweet to accept and perform all the mitzvahs of the Torah. Whoever loves the king does out of love, with love, anything the king decrees upon him. That's why Anoichi yeah, attracts and Anoichi brings over, brings about good midos, good characteristics, because when you love Hashem, you know he loves you. But by the way, the mitzvah is not Hashem loves you. The mitzvah is that you should love Hashem. Yeah? <laughs> it's a mirror. Remember, this, this sefer is called mirror. If you love Hashem, he loves you too. And Mimela, all the mitzvahs will be sweet and good, and you read Chumash Dvorim with the sweetest voice, and you accept everything with love. Have a great day, and may this Elul will become stronger and stronger and closer to Hashem. Thank you.